To understand what is a pooled versus an arrayed screen, first think of humans. Pooled screens are like grouping people all together in one room, whereas arrayed screens is like putting each person in their own room, say in a hotel. We see that the pool takes up less space, and asking a question to everyone is easy, such as who has glasses. If you want discrete details like who has yellow socks on, we need to ask the group to send a signal if they have yellow socks on, such as asking a person to raise their hand. Pooled screens using cells is similar because they find obvious and easily seen differences in the pooled population. Cell death or cell survival are popular choices because it's pretty easy to see when cells are missing or others have grown out of control. More discrete details are possible if you have a way to mark the cells, such as having antibodies or reporter cells, because these can be easily picked out from the group. Arrayed screens are better for less obvious things, because it's easier to question each person one at a time, like you're going door to door in the hotel, and it's easier to hear that person's answer without all the other people around. It's also perfect for asking multiple questions so that you can find a person or a cell with only a few features or many, such as who has glasses, and a sweater, and a tie. Looking at multiple features gives a better picture of the biology, especially if something happens only under certain conditions, such as a person needing glasses only when they read, which is like a cell expressing a specific gene only under certain conditions. Hopefully you can see that arrayed screening makes finding these subtle effects much easier. Like a hotel's many rooms, arrayed screens are done on a larger scale in multi-well plates, and there are a whole lot of them. Arrayed screens are used to look at growth features, such as protein expression and maybe its location in the cell, or any other analysis that requires microscopy. The key difference is what you get at the end. Pooled screens are done in as little as one dish, and just like the name says, your results are pooled together. So if you're doing a pooled CRISPR knockout experiment, cells that are edited for one gene will be mixed with cells that are edited for other genes. Whereas in the arrayed screen, the edited cells are separated, and at the end of the experiment, each well has cells with only one gene knocked out. This basic difference of one dish versus many tiny wells makes pooled screens a little easier to handle than arrayed screens, but you're also limited to simple questions like cell growth and death. Since automation is typically used for arrayed screens, multiple readouts and more complex data analysis is possible here. And there's more choice, and our cherry pick option is perfect for those wanting libraries with as little as 20 genes. All of this information should give you a good idea where to start, but in the end, it's the biology of your cells and the questions you want to ask which will decide which screening method is best for your work.